We are live. And if you weren't here for yesterday's stream, we got set back when I discovered this guy here, our legendary vault dweller, cannot be sent to a settlement if you've already talked to him before you have a settlement available. Mm -mm -mm. So, we have to go ahead and fix that. Just gonna go ahead and increase agility to three. Actually, no. We'll use the special book for that. Mm -mm. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for we choosing need to Vault Tech. Get it to f five, I believe, or four. Excuse me, whichever one Mr. Sandman is on. We need to increase it to that point. and get started. So, we're not even gonna speak to the legendary vault dweller until after we've decided where we're gonna set up base. Cause as I said, I don't wanna use red rocket or Sanctuary because I always use one of the two, sometimes a combination of the both. So we got a few things to do here in Sanctuary, starting by going into our old house for some stuff like the Grognak the Barbarian magazine. And a special book, which we need to use on agility. Then, if we go over here, this is a mod, the military officer sword. We take a look at it. Oh, yep, the mod was right. It is slightly off center. That's perfectly fine. Basically, they wanted to create a an, a sword that looked more like an American saber. So he took the blade of the Chinese officer sword and the hilt of the revolutionary sword and made this. I think it looks nice personally. It's going to give us a slight edge while not being super overpowered. I made move. Next step is to go over this way to the root cellar. Sorry for that loud noise, I was opening my soda. Okay. So in here, we want this, with another mod I installed that once we have the right perks, specifically Blacksmith 1, to make a, to make fake caps, so real caps technically speaking, they still work just the same, but 
the lore says we're fake. We're counterfeited in the lore. <clears throat> I don't really have any specific plans for my build. I'm not doing a particular type of build like melee or energy weapons or something like that. I'm basically just playing the game and enjoying it. So, you know. Now we may later on determine a more specific build. Uh, but in general, I'm just gonna be doing a bit of everything. Obviously I'll get big leagues in order to increase the damage of my sword here even further. You know, the various perks to increase other types of damage. But nothing, you know, super specific. We're only clearing this place out because it's XP. We have no intention of settling here. But we get extra XP for killing everything here. Which is always useful. There's a cap, yep, right here. Cap stash. Uh, I don't, I haven't decided whether or not we're gonna put focus on being able to use power armor. Seeing as we are gonna be running with the Institute, we may not. As the Institute really doesn't focus on the power armor, but we may still do that just because power armor can be useful. So we're gonna go ahead and go get dog meat. Actually, first we're gonna go over here. Excuse me. Because one thing I didn't do last stream that would have really helped if I did was go over here and grab the usual loot from this crate, which actually includes two decent armor pieces. So we've got some starting armor. Let's go grab dog meat. Where is he? There he is. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You wanna come with me, pal? <laughs> okay then. I will say, Let's while it's it off-center, I do like the look of uh, the sword that this mod created. 
it's actually a really Stop. nice sword. I'm assuming we did something like, you know, either use the bug that allows you to combine parts of different weapons, or they just went into the files and put the two parts together. Either way, I like it. I really wish there was a mod where someone took the properties of the Ripper and it's put its handle with the Chinese officer sword blade on it. So that you have the ability to make it serrated and deal higher damage while still doing bleed damage as well. Out all of them. Yo, Preston, my guy. Did I miss someone? Preston has decided to bug out. Well, that's fine because we're gonna collect some loot here. Preston, my guy. Yo. Alrighty, well, we're just gonna head inside. We're only doing this because I want the bobble-headed magazine that are in here. The minigun wouldn't be half bad either, considering I installed a mod to allow it to convert to 308. Let's get this over. Increasing its damage output, or slightly decreasing its ammo capacity, but it's a sacrifice worth it because the minigun really should deal more damage. It should also also have a higher rate of fire. Nice. I'm being shot at. That's what you get. Hey yo, quit shooting at my dog. That's rude. You don't shoot at a parking doggo. Oh really? That's disappointing. We are very squishy. Very squishy indeed. Let's try that again. We're gonna focus on clearing these enemies out real quick. No, I don't hear you. Okay, let's try this again.
Nice. Well, that didn't help. That one kind of did. That one didn't. Neither did that one. There's three options left. If I could just find one of those spots and get it to reset my tries or not reset my tries. Just keeps removing duds. And not even ones that are useful for me to have removed. to get it this time. That actually helps. There we go. I'm through. Stay gone. Oh, I ain't staying gone. I ain't gone in the first place. Oh, he blocked. Man. You missed that hit. Quick, I'm gonna go ahead, equip both of those and that. And that, because it gives us damage resistance. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Then we're gonna grab our level up here. we're going to put into agility. So now, we're able to grab the Mr. Sandman perk. Oh boy. Grab that there. Magazine. <clears throat> Please, you need to listen to me. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more. Please, go on. A month ago. Uh -huh. Sorry. Sounds really rough. God damn it. One good idea can make all. Sturgis? There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre war. Well, uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Minigun. <laughs> uh, it can. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre war FC. But we can't get to the. Look. Sure. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion. Right? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. 
Wow. Man, uh -huh. press and be bugging. Alrighty, screw it. There we go. Apparently, everything be bugging out. Right. Mm -hmm. Only opens the really? key. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. What? Okay, there we go. It was nice meeting you, Preston. But it appears there's nothing I can do here. I want to try something. What are you crazy? Have it your way. Wait, what? Why'd you attack me? I didn't hit you. I didn't hit you! Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, it seems that we're not even gonna get to a point of fighting with Death Claw. Because for some reason, this quest decided to bug out today. But that's fine. We'll go ahead and get on our way. We didn't plan on talking to Preston afterwards anyways. We were just gonna kill the Death Claw and leave. So, you know, I don't know what caused that. That is a very odd bug. But nothing we can do about it. We're just gonna keep moving. We got some pretty decent gear. Full set of leather armor and some road levers. Excuse me. And we're about to upgrade our right arm piece to metal. Because we intend to kill Wolfgang and Simone. Excuse me again. Real quick, we're gonna talk to Carla here. Oh. Okay, hang on. This isn't just a thing with Preston. Alrighty, well, that is frustrating to say the least, but nothing we can't handle. I thought that was one of the raiders. Where the heck did you come from? No, that's just the ultimate or the legendary vault dweller. Oh, I know you're here. I'm 
them there. I'm scared every last one of you. Oh, it's on. Ah! It's the wrong type. Listen to me. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Please, uh, go on. That ain't it. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Thanks. Maybe. It's good to meet someone who nope. really cares. Anyway, we figured... Uh -huh. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seer. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. <laughs> he just now said you talking. dig. I know, right? My God. Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been. It can be powered up. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old... But we can't get to the... Look, I fix stuff. Right. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So looking like we may not be able to talk to Preston, like at all. Okay, so we're gonna rush in, grab the bobblehead and the um magazine, and just book it. Excuse me. Clearly this specific quest has decided to bug out in a way that causes problems. So, we're just gonna leave it, because we're not siding with the Minutemen anyway, so... It doesn't matter. Shit! Disappointing that this issue has decided to present itself. Something coming. But nothing I can Man. do about that. Now look who dog me brought. He's a growing, oh, sure. Please, tell me what you know. That's incredible. Whatever it is, I'll stop it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna quick save. I'm not even going to risk anything with Preston. It's 
sorry, Preston. But you bugged out the game. Can't risk nothing. Flying mannequins. It's a shame that I have to skip the part of fighting with Deathclaw. But there's nothing I can do about it. Because clearly, Preston has bugged out this time around. Which doesn't affect us any, as we weren't gonna help him any further than killing with Death Claw. Wonder what caused it to bug out? Cause I killed all the raiders out here. So like, you know, I don't know. Nothing I can do about it. They got the bobblehead in magazine though, so we're good. And now we're gonna go ahead and continue on our way. Talk yeah. to Carla here. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? We're gonna try your it. Money. All of it. Now. This ain't my first mugging. And I'm just gonna say it. You're not that scary. Why don't you run along? Got your money. We weren't ever gonna utilize her to begin with, so I'm fine with this. I didn't get that many caps out of it, but that's fine. I'll go grab that. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling Kemp versus anything. You know what that junk has done to my boy? I like that. Wolfgang and Simone are dealt with. And we can get a hundred caps. <clears throat> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, right? Not right now. And boom. Gradually upgrading. Now we continue on our way. So, due, due to that bug, we now know that we can't use the Minutemen to get us into the Institute. That eliminates them as an option because they've decided to bug out. So, that leaves the Brotherhood and the Institute, or in the Railroad. I'm thinking we're just gonna go for the railroad due to the fact that 
So we need them to decode, decode the Courser chip anyways. And decoding the Courser chip is what triggers the ability to, you know, get the plans to build the teleporter. So we utilize them. So I think that's a good way of going about it. Because we are running with the Institute this time. So every time I see that tree some of a different distance, I think it's a, an, an NPC just standing there. I'm like, what the heck? comes to armor, we're doing okay right now. Excuse me. Hmm. We've got a full set of leather. Oh, not a full set, because we have the metal piece, but that's actually really good. We've got a full set of armor. And we got better under armor than what we started with. Now we're just going to make our way down to Diamond City. While considering where we're going to make our base of operations. So, you know. Oh, that's a terrible <laughs> dead. Let's keep moving. I don't know where I want to set up base. We may kill the Abernathies and take over their farm, to be honest. Because I am definitely not going to fight Ak Ak. And again, Ak Ak does have a minigun we could snag. Which would be good. But if we really wanted a minigun desperately, we could just do a jump to a vertebird on top of a museum of freedom. It's not an, the easiest thing in the world, but it's not super difficult either. My hope is that... can grab Mr. Salmon now. One of these guards died, so we should probably have to go take him out the sleeping one. And he's gonna rush in and help. one of them went down. Nope, never mind. That appears to be our legendary vault dweller getting himself injured like a dum-dum. Oh, 
Cameron, I was just, uh, I was gonna say, oh wait, one of them did go down, but nope, he didn't. any of these ones got killed so we're gonna have to go take care of the sleeping one in order to get the armor we want We just go over here. We can go ahead and get ourselves Looking for Diamond City. the best early oh, game sorry. over armor available. <gasps> like so. Normally I'd take the athletic outfit, but after learning that that doesn't allow for leg pieces, I personally don't really want it. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Not the best looking over armor in game, but it's definitely the best early game over armor in terms of stats. Oh fudge. handled. That was the most dangerous one of the bunch. Okay. Let me give this dog meat. Hey. Here, dog meat. Oh, he had a stem pack. Nice. Wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the helmet. I don't like the way the helmet looks. And again, we're gonna keep it due to the armor it provides. Hi. The provided Hi, armor is now, worth it. Your ass, your enemies will. Let's see what you got. Oh goody. Let's make mischief. Really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. All 
I want to try something. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. Oh, look, it worked out. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of the. I honestly did not expect that to work. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do need some help. I knew it. Right here. Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm I called you a bitch, you, you bitch. <clears throat> Around here we call your haircut. Uh-huh. Sure. Maybe a new color, huh? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go ahead and go with Poodle Skirt. hair color the same. Hi. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return over to this area. And we're going to go kill the Abernathys. Because <clears throat> while the... While one of them is really useful to sell melons to... To get a ton of caps... I don't want to do a quest to get the locket, so... Instead, we're just gonna kill them. We're gonna make a quick save here, though, because we're likely to take heavy damage. But I've decided the Abernathy farm is the best location for us to set up shop. It's got a high build ceiling. Pretty large area to work with. And an already well built shelter for us. New here? Well, if you've got anything worth. Seriously? Alright, forget it. We're killing him. He attacked me first, so I had no other choice. Hopefully he respawns. Oh. But we get the jumpsuit out of it still, so that's a plus. Can't complain there.
Let the record show. He attacked me. And we have an already really well set up farm too. Now everything here is ours. We have an amazing base of operations. To be honest, I'll probably set up up top. <clears throat> Hang on. Before I do anything. I did install remember to install this mod before the stream. A shipment of everything. I need to check the description of one of the mods I installed. Because I installed a mod that would give me a special piece of under armor. Where is it? Here we go. New workbench added. Okay, so it's in a workbench. So how do I get said workbench? There it is. So we'll just set it right here. Okay. So the pieces do require the um, various perks. That's good to know. That requires armor rank one. Ooh, a stealth blade. This is actually really interesting. So it's a Chinese officer sword. Okay. That's pretty dang good. I'm keeping that.
multi-function laser. I'm not going to use the heavy combat armor here. Especially since what we just made is better. Now we will use the pieces that aren't currently Synth, just because. <clears throat> it's added protection. And since we can't currently use the <clears throat> modded under armor from that, we'll go with this instead. <clears throat> okay. I'll probably set up up top here just because and get rid of the chairs. I honestly really like Abernathy Farm as a settlement just because it's really well fortified honestly like extremely well fortified Shame we had to kill the legendary vault dweller. But we didn't have a choice in the matter. He attacked us when we attacked the Abernathies. We're gonna go ahead and make our way to Concord, because I want to try and grab the minigun. If we can grab that minigun, we'll be set. quick save here because we're likely to die a few times trying this we'll probably grab the power armor too honestly So if we 
go over here like so. Oh wow. I was not expecting to pull off the first jump, first try. Okay. Well, that is actually great. Okay. <clears throat> Bada bang, bada boom. We got what we came here for. So now we return to our base of operations. I guess to end off the stream, we'll go and we'll get Codsworth. <clears throat> I will say, while well, I won't be doing it all in one go, I will be doing the Automaton DLC for this playthrough. As well as, at the very least, parts of Nuka World and Far Harbor. As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... Codsworth. Well, of course, but you seem... They... Oh, Mom, they... It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Doesn't Come that on. Your... Codsworth, you're acting. I. <laughs> and. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh -huh. Thank you, Codsworth. Now, shall we, sir? Right. There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Okay, so we can't actually get him quite yet. Apparently. I assume that's because we didn't actually get Preston in them. So, we'll return to Abernathy Farm and end off the stream for today. Excuse me, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and make a quick save. This has been fun, and I hope it was for anyone watching. Have a wonderful day and or night.